Hey, what's up guys? Tonight we're gonna do Wagyu beef New York strip. And we got two of these. So they're a little pricey, but I mean, we never get to go out to eat as a couple very much in the last year. So it's excusable. So we're gonna do Wagyu steak. We're gonna do Brussels sprouts in the cast iron skillet with shallots and bacon and garlic. And then Tabitha's gonna throw together a homemade Caesar dressing that she looked up and that's gonna be delicious. So first part of the video, I'll just show you guys this real quick. What I do when I season steak is I'll take my main steak rub or whatever I'm gonna use for flavor besides my salt and pepper. I'll put it on one side, push down on it real good. After you apply liber liberally, you know, it always tells you to apply liberally. And that's because you, you know, that first time you're pressing down your seasonings, then you can go through and make any, you know, finishing touches that you want. So I think that's gonna be perfect on the coffee and garlic rub. If you have a Trader Joe's around, this has been in my videos before. And then on the other side is where you're gonna do your salt and pepper. So salt, you know, there is some salt in the Trader Joe's rub and always be aware of how much salt is in your seasoning besides the salt you're gonna be putting on it. But you wanna be, you know, pretty, pretty giving with the salt and then, you know, don't get crazy with the pepper. There's plenty of seasonings in your uh, steak rub. So, you know, just, just get a decent amount on there with the salt. And that looks about right, right there, guys. So that's all you need to have a perfectly tasty steak, in my opinion, is salt, pepper, seasoning. And then finishing touch is gonna be this um, garlic Parmesan basil butter that we got at Kroger and it'll be delicious. So what I'll go ahead and do is let Tabitha show you guys how she likes to put these Brussels sprouts in the cast iron. And um, so the next part of the video will be the Caesar dressing and then we'll cook these Wagyu steaks on the grill Wagyu, my bad. Wagyu, yeah, Wagyu steak. But yeah, I had pulled the uh, cast iron off of the stove, you know, off of the hot spot, off the heat source for a minute because the bacon was cooked, so. But yeah, basically it's gonna be shallots. I minced up some shallots. I cut up the Brussels sprouts, minced the shallots, did the bacon up. So Tabitha's gonna step in from here, season it up the rest of the way. She's got some minced garlic, got some, what's that seasoning you got in your hand? Oh, some pepper. You got some pepper, give a little salt, a little butter. It'll be delicious. So we'll see you back for the, yeah, we'll see you back for the Caesar dressing and for the steak. And then, you know, I wanna get Tabitha plating the, plating the food up, you know, at least one plate. You know, I have it looking nice, because that's always a good touch. So this stuff's gonna cook down and we'll get to the cedar dressing here in just a minute. All right guys, so here is the Caesar dressing. And this recipe will be in the description box. And have we had this before? We have not had this before. So this is a first time thing. Got the anchovy paste that you gotta have for it. Amore, made in Italy. So yeah, well, growing up, I loved Catalina dressing the most, I think. I loved the homemade ranch at restaurants and I still do. But like, I think my most favorite of all time is Catalina, but I gotta tell you, once I grew up taste-wise, Caesar dressings became like my favorite thing once I started working at restaurants and started tasting their Caesar that they made. So that's basically what I'm interested in. I love Caesar dressing and I love Catalina. I love all vinaigrettes, but tell me in the description, guys, what is your favorite salad dressing? And do you have a favorite salad dressing from when you were a kid and has, it, has your favorite changed? I'm gonna start asking everybody a question that they can interact with me and other people with in the in the comments every week is 
you know, and, and that's going to be the question this week. Last week was, do you have a favorite cake from when you were a kid? And if you hear the, if you hear me asking this on this video and didn't see the last video, check it out. You know, let me know what your favorite cake was on the last video growing up or recently. And you know, this week, let me know what your favorite salad dressing was growing up, and and if you have a new favorite. Tabitha just made a face like the anchovy paste is the worst thing she's ever seen. I don't know why that doesn't look like, you know, cat excrement or anything. So yeah, good old Caesar dressing. Description in the box. Recipe. I mean, recipe in the description box, I'm sorry. I can't ever talk right on video, it's awful. But it looks amazing already. Oh my goodness. Gonna have some fresh Parmesan chips in it. Fresh grated Parmesan. Oh yeah, and also besides what your favorite dressing was, what's the dressing that you hate the most, maybe? Like, what's a dressing that is just disgusting to you? Let me know too about that. So there it is, homemade Caesar dressing, that fast. Throwing it together with some classic mayo, some garlic, some pepper, some Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> and then over here, We've got the uh, Brussels sprouts finishing up, which was the first thing we did. So here they're going into the oven. They're gonna finish off while we get the Wagyu steak. Wagyu steaks, I'm sorry. Wagyu steaks cooked. We're gonna cook the Wagyu steaks and we'll be back while these finish off in the oven. Go. All right guys, so we're out here with the Wagyu steaks on the grill, okay? So I've done three minutes at 2 p.m. I've done three minutes at 10 a.m. I'm gonna flip these bad boys so you can see the perfect grill mark. Look at those hash marks. And see if you follow the 10 a.m. 2 p.m. on your grill, you don't have to have the hash mark grills. You can do it yourself. You just have to have the confidence and experience and just remember to you know aim for 10 a.m. 2 p.m. each time. So I'm going 2 p.m. right now. In three minutes, I'm gonna go to, you know, 10 a.m. and I've got it. So, yeah, they're super beautiful steaks. Look at that. It's super special. I can't wait to crack into these bad boys, but um, I'll see you back inside. We'll cut it open when we plate it. Go. All right, guys. Back inside from the grill. Rock these Wagyu steaks out on the gas grill. I'm gonna be bringing some black, you know, I've got a small black stone grill and I've got a smoker that, you know, I've smoked some ribs for a video, but you guys have not actually seen the smoker. But basically I'm gonna get, you know, my smoker and my flat top more involved and, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. So yeah, Wagyu steaks, Brussels sprouts, these turned out great in the cast iron skillet. Started on the stove, went into the oven. And after Tabitha mixed up that Caesar dressing, you know, tasted it off screen and it is amazing. You guys, if you, if you like Caesar dressing, you'll have to check out the recipe if you don't have like a set Caesar dressing or a recipe that you go to or if you like to try different stuff. So, yeah, just a heads up, the Caesar dressing is like perfect. So we got some romaine mix and we got this fresh homemade Caesar dressing, which is perfection. And 
And again, thank you guys for sticking around and watching this far into the video. And I appreciate you guys. And again, let me know what your favorite salad dressing is. I, I, I'm definitely interested to know. And um, have you guys ever tried Catalina? Let me know that. So there it is, Parmesan chips, fresh Parmesan chips, homemade Parmesan croutons. Oh yeah, let's cut this bad boy open. Let's cut, let's cut this wagyu open real quick. Yes, that is perfection. Might be a little raw, but I mean, I'm I'm there on that. I cooked it medium on medium heat for uh, six minutes on each side, and yeah, it's gonna be perfect. You know, it's got nice char on the outside. You can eat steak basically raw. So cut the other one up and let's see how it looks. Let's do this other way. Here. Like I said, three minutes one way, three minutes the other. That is some beautiful steak, guys. That is exactly where me and Tabitha both prefer it to be. You know, right at rare, medium, rare. I'm a rare guy. I'm even a seared guy. I have had seared steak before. So, yeah, which basically means 30 seconds on a hot, you know, cast iron skillet or a hot grill for 30 seconds on each side or so, and then eat it. I love raw steak. You know, rare steak is delicious. So thank you guys for showing up. Wagyu steak, Brussels sprouts, Caesar salad. We're going to eat real quick, so I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much for showing up.